Hmm, who do I want to take on today? I think... Plant Man. He's in the Forgotten Area. Hmm. A lot of uh, hidden dangers lurk in the trees here, and in the grass. I just killed you, stupid grasshopper. All these cracked blocks that you've been seeing along the way, um, you can break them, just not until you get the power adapter, which you get for beating Flame Man. And I could have fought Flame Man first if I wanted to, but, eh, whatever. I'm doing the Robot Masters in a really weird order, but... Hi, Eddie! Yay, thanks for thinking you're helpful. I don't like this mini-boss. I like to use Night Crush on him. He's weak to uh, a wide variety of weapons, but... Night Crush does the job pretty quickly. Plant Man's uh, music track is one of the best in the Mega Man series, period. At least I think so. Ah! These springs will only bounce you so high unless you tap the A button when you hit them, which will send Mega Man skyward! Speaking of Skyward, Skyward Sword comes out next month, and I am psyched for that game. I, I may do a Let's Play of that, too, because it looks freaking amazing. And here you've got another one of those, uh, I don't know, Gutsman wannabe mini-bosses. Doesn't he kind of look like Gutsman? Am I the only one that sees that? I, I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Alright, now begins the hardest part of the entire level. You've got these guys that'll charge at you from certain points. You've got the killer fishies. You've got the springs. You've got the cannons. I just killed you! Take your time during this part, because there is shit all over the place here. you got to open these platforms with the Mega Buster. <laughs> How cute. They made the uh, flowers into little energy pellets. Good for them. Ah, I suck at this. Alright, there we go. You have to be very accurate at that part. Got more fishies here. And more rocket robots. <laughs> ah! And now you've added bouncing cannons to the mix. Whee! Boing! And one more fishy! And we are at Plant Man. That was fun, wasn't it? Plant Man, in all honesty, is pretty much a complete joke. I he has one attack, which is to form his flower barrier, uh, jump, and then throw it at you. And he will do this over and over and over. Oh, he got collision damage on me. Good job, Plant Man. I hope he feels better about himself. And that was Plant Man. And Plant Man's weapon is just a barrier weapon, you know, the kind that's in every single Mega Man game. Except this one's probably one of the more useless ones. You can't even fire it like you could the Leaf Shield or, you know, the Jewel Satellite from Mega Man 9. It's 
It doesn't even really block anything. It's just kind of a shitty barrier weapon. Alright, pause break. I'll be right back. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention was uh, we got the jet adapter from Plant Man's stage as well. Um, might as well go get the power adapter. Let's take on Flame Man. At the oil field. Love the music here, too. Really cool track. Let's try out our new jet adapter. Jet Mega Man. I really like what they did with the uh, jet adapter in Mega Man 6 as opposed to like Mega Man 3, 4, and 5 where it was just, you know, a rush hoverboard basically. In Mega Man 6, Rush actually fuses with Mega Man and uh, you get a freaking jetpack, which is pretty cool. It's different. <laughs> These little dudes here, you want to charge shot them. That's the only way we can beat them right now. And if you charge shot them into an oil lake here, they will turn into a little floaty platform. Now you might be asking why? That's why! Because once those little flame enemies um, set this thing on fire, it becomes instant death field. Watch out from death from above there. Whew. Those enemies are kind of reminiscent of the uh, the ones from Quick Man Stage and Mega Man 2 that will uh, fling hotheads at you. Or whatever those fire things are called. Maybe that's Mario World I'm thinking of. Yeah, that's, that's Mario World that has hotheads. Never mind. <laughs> if you're feeling ballsy, you can get that E-Tank e down there. You'll most likely have to take a few hits to get it, but... Wear fire here. Ah! Hmm. He was in my way. And if you're not feeling so confident, you can make a jump. Jet adapter's always there to back you up. Flame Man can be a bit of a bitch. Um, his main attack is that, which is hard to uh, get a pattern. It's hard to distinguish where the flames are going to pop up, so I always like to jump first and then try to land myself in a spot where there are no flames. His other attack is a simple Flame Buster weapon, which is very easy to, well, supposed to be easy to dodge, but I just suck at life, I guess. That was close. Got him. Okay, we will get the Flame Blast and Rush Power Adapter. Now you can break all those uh, cracked blocks along the way and get all the hidden goodies beyond. And uh, Flame Blast is 
just, you know, a standard mortal fire weapon. Nothing real special about it. Okay, that is going to do it for episode 2 of Let's Play Mega Man 6, not Mega Man X. Um, next time I'll take on another boss, whichever one I feel like taking on. See you next time.